up to the Asnun. Ramches. Where are we up to? Ramches. Okay, the way sign. Mamches, page Tufnun Hay. which is uh, I say in English are bricks they use blocks they left over from, uh, from building something they're not made for building you know I haven't seen this since I'm a young child I do admit when I was very young I remember the leftover bricks people would take home the truth is, when I was in Uman, and one year, you know, someone, the Jewish people bought a piece of property, so took apart the wall, and the next morning, all the bricks disappeared. Oh, They're going the neighbors. <laughs> Brick, today, you know, we pay someone, imagine, here we pay someone to get rid of it. We, get, we pay someone, right? Who's in construction? What's this? Uh, you pay someone to get rid of it, right? The, the bricks. In the times of the Gemara, you know, I remember this. People would uh, say bricks, and uh, so, anyways. So Lamaisa, that's what's not the gay bus. But in those days, it, it was standard. A leftover brick you took into the house and you used it for something. So that's why it's not muktzah. The chentor is kelelaim. The sidrom. But if you pile them one on top of the other, gila daite shikes the lebinyan. You said clearly, I am not going to use it. I'm going to put it away for buildings. Again, this is re- repeating what we learned last week, but it's a Gemara. I'm going to give another case. If it's the standard that it's left over, we use it for your personal at home, you use it for anything, then it's not Muktza. But if it's like nowadays, anything left over, we throw into the garbage. I don't see any person. And if not, no one uses bricks at home. You know what I mean? It's the last thing you use some brick to sit or to lay on, to keep your bed up straight, you know. Maybe a bachelor living alone and no lady in the house. Maybe I can imagine, that, but uh, it doesn't happen nowadays. All right. Next you, you don't have to have a component to, to make it into a keli. Automatically, you Those days, it was automatically. Today, you have today. It's not a keli. Today, even when I learn, even you designated for something, it's not a keli because no one ever uses any of these things for... Zukumachravayte. Uh, Kotz. So say Gemara. Hamunich v'shiserabn. Metele taltaloi puches puches medalodamas. Tuf nun hei, the mem tes. Tuf nun hei. Kutz is a, uh, how do you say kutz in English? More than a splinter. It's a. A beam. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a, a piece of wood you can hurt yourself. I don't know how you say it in English it's exactly. A splinter and a beam. Right. So the kids, sir, if you have it on the street, and this, is a, this halacha is a very, very important halacha. The, the Machab is teaching, the Shulchan Aruch is teaching based on the Gesar Gemara, that we have a cuts in, in, in the Shisarabim, that someone could get hurt with it, you know, to ca- move it, puches, puches, medala, dala. You know, in the Shisarabim, if you carry someplace from the beginning of dala, let dala dama, as a coin to Chaim, knew it six feet. You pick it up from here, you put it down here, you have chathas. But you're allowed to do it, but you don't want a rabbin, many people to get hurt. There is a shita in the Rishonim, which we don't pass in, just to show how how chomer this is. If he holds Yilarabim, or even Issa the Raisa, to avoid a rabbim to get hurt. No, let's, no one's going to die, but a hunch of ten people are going to hurt themselves. There's one shit in the Rishonim, because he doesn't bring down the Rab, the second Chalik. The Gemara talks, if you have a burning piece of metal or of coal, if you're allowed to extinguish it or not. So well, there's somebody showing them, hold that it's an Isid Rais extinguisher. How could the Gemara say you're allowed to move it, uh, allowed to do it on Shabbos? Because you would rather over Isid Raisa to save many people from pain. We don't pass enough. Pain. 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 By fire or pain. You ever heard of it? Singes legs. No, nothing happened. Well, most people burn themselves. It's not dangerous. The whole talk about Amish, what's that concept? 
Now let me just finish saying. So there is one opinion that holds that in order many people not get hurt, you lot of is that I said we don't pass in that way. But that's where the Shoirish comes from the Shoinim say why a Miral Akim to tell a goy in a place where there's a rabbin will make we spoke about it in a shul over many people in a hall where it's very, very hot and you, you know, whatever it is, by rabbin, because you see by rabbin we have a skula. Bukha Bukha Dal means you're not allowed to carry something in a rabbin from, from one place to another place six feet wide. If you did, you chayev chatus. You chayev kodus. If you have, if you wanted, you chayev skila. It's a mom. But it, we never allow anyone to carry pochas pochas with alamas. You know, a guy's stuck and he's got his uh, bag of money and says, uh, we're afraid, you, you know, with a little bit you could be over. Here we said to avoid people getting hurt, you'll have to move it slowly, move it a few, uh, 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 three feet, move it again three feet. That's not something you're allowed to use. Lechatchila. You're never allowed to use it, no. Lechatchila, you're never allowed to use it, no. You're never allowed to carry something, she said, pochas pochas with alamas, never. Even if you find a diamond, if you find a bag of money, they have to stand there and don't move. If, if ten people find a diamond, uh, if ten people are in pain. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, uh, but if you find, uh, the Gemara talks about it, you find money, then there's no head to do that. You've got to stand there and wait till much Shabbos. What's the, what's the rabbin? What's the definition of rabbin? Rabbin? That's a very good question. What is, what is rabbin? Someone's even three. The Gemara says, a, a, a neider of das rabbin is three people. So, mal b'nei chaveri barabbin is three people. The Shomlein. The Chovetz Chaim says, just like it says rabbin, but neider das rabbin, you know, there's a din, if you make a neider on the das, on the mind, I say, on the three people, then you cannot be matter the neider. So, so, that's three people. So, too, if you mal, you embarrass someone, barabbin, and uh, then there's no cheli kalam haba. So, it's three people. That's not. I just explained it to. Uh, unfortunately, I sometimes speak to a, uh, to a few people who are, uh, went through a terrible time molestation. So I, I, one of the boys asked me the question. He wants to know the guy who did it is dead. He has oilam haba. So I said to him, I want to explain to you something. Why is a malbu penechaveira barab ain't ochelik oilam haba? You insult someone in public. Why? Because the pain is very much. You insult them in a private room. Uh, you know, I, you, you said I'm bad, you're bad, you know. Well, and if I didn't say anything, it's not so terrible. You said in front of three people, it's very embarrassing. You said in front of a hundred people, it's not a din rabbin, it's a din in pain. The pain is exorbitant. The more people know about it, the more you're in pain. I said, the pain that you're going through is worse than someone was insulted in front of a million people. I mean, these people suffer, they really understand terrible pain. So this, I have no question, this guy has no oilam haba. You know, there's nothing, the, no, he's frying for a long time, he's frying. But the rabba means, the word rabba means three people normally, normally means. Okay, is it, is it the rabba like this? At, uh, a, hat, there's one of the Lama Tess Moloches is Haitsua. You know how to carry from Shesu Yucha to Shesu Ram Shidanam. Part of Hilchis Haitsua, part, there's another part of that Molocha. You carry, and in the Shesu Ram, from here to here is Osa Nisadaraisa. So Chazal says, you're not allowed to, if you see on the street, you're not allowed to carry anything less than Dalla Damas. You might just carry Dalla Damas. But let's say you are, you sat down. You know, you're tired. <laughs> you got to take your head off and put it down even though you moved it two, uh, two feet. You moved it a few. But you cannot carry more than the Aladamas. But you can still, if you carry less than the Aladamas, you don't bring a Yeah, less than the it's like a Chutz The din is carrying in Shabbos. It's like a tolder. Carrying less than the Aladamas is not really carrying. It's like a Chutz Yishin. Some Chutz in the Achroinim, if it's called Chutz I don't want to go into this, but there's, you know what Chutz Yishin means? Half, half, uh, have the mound, like someone eats a little bit of chaza. So the, the, the big mechloik is if we say on a tzuech din chutz yishir. That's a separate, uh, separate mechloik. Okay. Cut some minah b'shisar. You explained rabbi, but not rishus rabbi. No, no, he wants it. Shus rabbi, what is a shus rabbi? 
we have to have an hour's class to describe what she said up. But I want to say it and try to say it that uh, we'll hopefully get to it one of these days. But let me explain what she said up. Most uh, 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 the Russia and the Balotrys was held. She said up means you need a city that has 600,000 dwellers. Some learn, that's it. If you have a city, there are so many people living there. And the street is wide, 16 amas. 16 amas, uh, you know, according to Chaim Nuo, is about 28 feet, 27 feet. Who's quick in math? Yeah, approximately. The street has to be that wide and no roof on top. And the streets go from one end of the town to the other end of the town. Then that's called the Shisarab. So theoretically, LA has a Shisarab that rises. And according to most of the Shainim, it is just that I'm the right. There is. That is another. There's another. Rashi, the Rashi doesn't say. The Rashi's opinion is you need 600,000 people living there. The Rishonim, other Rishonim say you need 600,000 people traveling on the roads. And the Moshe explains in the Tshuva means doesn't mean that same road. It means people traveling every day on the roads, which is a rarity. But we don't have to stretch it so much. The fact is that let's say it's a Shisarab and the Raisa. This is a, a, a Pico right here. La Sienega right here is a Shisarab and the Raisa. It's a Shisarab and the Raisa. It's a lot of, you know, it's. Uh, it's but you, you still, you can make an Aedif. One day I'll explain it. Nothing to do. Aedif is still, has nothing so, to do. So you're saying that a small town, if the town has. Now, a small town that has less than 600,000 people, there is no Shisarab and the Raisa, according to Rasha and the Balotesis. Other Rishonim hold, you don't need 600,000 people. So the question is, how many people do you need? If I have a one street hick town, and uh, you know, we don't know. This is a puzzle in the Rishonim, and the Chreinim try to figure that one out. But the point is that the, 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 we, B'nai Ashkenaz, followed the opinion that it's 600,000 people. She said, Rabbi, sure. What did that clearly? When it says, She said, Rabbi, you learned from Digla Midbar. That Digla says clearly. The question is, what do we learn exactly from there? So we learned Rasha in the Bahaga thing, if I'm not mistaken, learned. We learned from, from there that it was has to have the amount of people that were in the midbed, which 600,000. Okay. I think Benny was asking why did you need three people for Shisrabim and Whenever we talk about, let's say, Hamalbum Panechreira Barabim, you know, if you sold your friend in publicly, you lost your Elam Haba. Chovetz Chaim says, How much is Rabbim? So he says, We learn it. From a neder, which there's a din when a person makes a vow on the on the minds of a rabbi, you know, the, this such halacha that means you could make a vow and there's no way to undo it. How do you do it? You say I'm making the vow das rabbi. If you say three people, that vow is un, un, able to be undone. And they, they don't have to be so they don't have to be Jews. Yeah, most most hold that they don't have to be Jews. Right. Well, uh, one last question, Mr. Rabbi. If you have a town that has a major freeway that goes through, it's a small town of 200 people, but the 10 goes right through it, and 600,000 cars pass by it on the highway. Is that is that Rosh Hashanah? No, it's just it's not. It doesn't pass through the town. It p- passes on on the separate, separate issues. The freeways are separate issues. That that doesn't make it that it's a small town. But let's say there are streets that um, other places, other towns, where the main street travels from town to town to town. That becomes just a Ram Daraisa, going to Russia. It's a huge, huge topic. Uh, this is. Rabbi means three, so a family, couple with one kid, three people. That's also. Could who could, could if they could get hurt? That's called the Rabbi. Now I want to tell you, others disagree. I want to tell you, everything I know, that someone, uh, I tell you, people listen, Baruch Hashem, but someone uh, came to me, everything you could find, Machmiram. Uh, there's no way I could find, uh, look in all the sorrow. Everything, there's Machmiram, and there's a, uh, I just say what's, what Lani is dati, because I forgot, I said something, someone showed me a safe, I said, no, no. no I mean, you said what? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I wish I remember, uh, but uh, I said something over here, someone. I find a clip, you could move it yourself. That's the no, no, no. Right. If it's you, if you know that a rabbi will be walking, they can get hurt. You can't be paranoid. Stop. You do it again. You stop. You do it again. No, you stop. Even if you have to take it 
20 almost. But yes, clear, stop. Right? Yes, you won't can you, stop. Can you kick it and cause it to go further? Well, kicking is also a problem. If certain, and that's also called carrying. If you kick something, if you kick a ball, it's just Ram Yechai. So, okay. You have to speak up. <coughs> that's called a movie, I'm a foolish. And if it's two sides of it, it's Shisharab, it becomes a Shisharab. You know, uh, if we're going to talk about Shisharab, we'll be talking all night. So let's. No, no, let's I'm saying, if you find something on the street, on, on the a movie, street, no, the if street. Mansfield, if there's no Adiv, if Mansfield is a Shisharab that I say, it's connected to Beverly, and the other side is Third Street. So it's, uh, that's called movie. I'm a foolish the Shisharab. That means, uh, how you say movie, uh, it's like, it's like another alley, but it's, it's wide enough. Mansfield is a wide street. And uh, all these small streets here too. I don't know this neighborhood, the street so well, but it's open two sides Shisharab. So the, you know, it becomes, right? So all the streets here, right? Uh, almost all the streets here can, uh, what do you say? Almost, uh, but almost all the streets, you have the two sides the Shisharab. Okay, now let's m- move on. So he says right there. <clears throat> the Carmelis, listen to this amazing aloha. The Carmelis, metaltal gedarkoi filaharba. But this is also used a lot. You see, in a Carmelis, I don't have to bother stopping every minute. Why don't you tell me to stop every two minutes? A Carmelis is something that is not a shesarab. Let's just for argument's sake, an alley. Yeah, there's an alley in the back yeah. here, right? Uh, it's probably not so wide. It's not Tezayin. No, so uh, many people come through the back of the shoe. So you find uh, something that people could hurt themselves. So uh, it says, you allowed to pick it up. You don't have to go puchas puchas dalamas. In a karmelis, you're only not allowed to if you carry one beginning of dollar to the end of dollar. If you carry less, it's like a trade rabbanon. You know what trade rabbanon means? To carry in a karmelis is a rabbanon, period. I carry pochas pochas is another drabanam. The, 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 the Gemara says you don't have to go out of your way, make the isa less. If you find, let's say you find a bunch of nails there, right? And you know people come to shul. So you allow, pick up, why don't you just pick up the nails, stop every few steps. No, pick it up, walk to the garbage can, uh, half a block away, and throw it away. So you see you don't have to, when there's a tzoyer chrabim, to minimize the isa. This is used a lot in the place skin. When there's a hatter, you don't have to minimize always the, the... People ask me very often, the Shabbos, a guy came to my shul, it's freezing cold at home, he has a bunch of small children, he forgot to put on the steam. So I told him, he has a shiksa. So I said to him, they, it gives me a hard time, I should tell it, but it means, I said, no, tell it directly. I love when young people give me a hard time. And they say, no, but, but maybe I should. If you want, you can do what you want. But I'm telling the Allah is, you know, maybe it means. You know, because you're allowed to, you're allowed to. You don't have to look for a way out. It's, you know, it means, it means to hint for the guy. If you're allowed to, you're allowed to. Certain times you're not to show you're allowed to, and that's when we, we, we use a bunch of other things to make it. When it's okay, it's okay. So over here, the, it's an interesting halacha. If you find in the alley something that many people could hurt themselves, you don't have to minimize the issa. Just pick it up and walk as much as you and need what, and throw it away. What's the reason for that? Because it's Chazal will matter it. They said it's okay. They didn't want. They didn't want to be matriach. You just do the right thing. That's it. See, carrying in a karmelos is general. Is only a derabana. Carrying less than dal damas in a karmelos is another derabana. Right. So when if uh, when a person violates carrying in a, 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 a karmelos less than dal damas, it's called two derabana. So maybe that means the iser is less. Right. It's a less of an iser. It, you, the Gemara says you don't have to look for the less of the iser. We said it's okay, it's okay. Pick it up and walk and throw it out. And the re- this, there's a simple reason, because whenever there's a hatter, we don't have to look. It's okay, it's okay. One of the, one of the most common things people ask me lately the a nebulizer, children need just the nebula, you know, some babies need a nebula. I don't know why lately it's been so, 
Uh, so a lady called, you know, almost every few weeks someone calls me, and they always, you know, they always want to know, should I, if my neighbor would have shikses, and the, and the neighbors might have a shiksa. I said, yes, it'd be very nice, but if I know the fact is, you're going to have to look for a shiksa, you're going to think twice, should I put it or not put it on? Just put it on with a shinny. You know, it's a button you put on, you put it on the back of your hand, it's a darabana. Why, you know, like, uh, um, why do I say that? Because I watch, if you've got to look for a goy, you're going to think twice, I mean, who way I'm going to find a goy? The baby needs it. Don't play around. Just do it. You know, you, it's, it'd be nice if you have a shiks at home and you just tell her to put it on. So it's even better. But it, again, uh, it's probably this other ice. Probably what, is, what about turning it off? Well, they tell me, I don't know if anyone is, uh, knows about ne nebulizer. Steam, like the steam. Oh, it's for asthma. It's for asthma. And uh, I had a lady told me her, her son, who's five years old, had the pneumonia. Doctor says, don't, put him, don't bring him to the hospital, stay home, and they'll be safe if we use a nebulizer. And, you know, a, the people tell me, a, um, someone just asked to turn it, someone tell me, if you leave it on, it's not good for the machine, burns out. Anyone familiar? I don't know. Yeah, we have one. Oh, you have one? Yeah. So it, it, we, it, we, we did this with my son when was a kid. So we always turned it on with the scene away, so that's we turned it off. It's a shinny, but if you don't attack, it burns out. Yeah, it could ruin it. yeah, people have told me that. If you burn still long, you get it. I have no idea how it works. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it works. If you do it with a shinny, back of your hand. Well, if, if it heats the water, the, I was told the two ones, the heat and the cold. Heat cold. is mom's question of the bishop. Cold is no bishop if you're adding water. So you could add water on top of if, it. If it's a cold, a cold humidifier. It's not, there are ones that are made for heat. The, well, right? No, 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 I was told. I was told that it was cold ones too. I don't know. I was told that. How is it okay to break a uh, a baby, uh, if someone has a, a suffer from asthma, someone suffers from a pneumonia, is a cholishesh baskana, you're allowed to do it without a question. And, and turning off also? Turning off, is, he just says, I heard this from a lot of people. Oh, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. I heard from many people tell me that the machine could burn out if you nebulize it. It's more sensitive, it's not the humidifier, it's a sensitive machine, and, it, and it, they tell you not to let it long, it could burn, burn out. So you need it. No, you need it. They need every few hours. They have to put it on, yeah. and yeah, that's the you need it every few hours. Yeah, that's no question. Lalta, if you, if you, and even if you're gonna get another one, till you get another one, until you don't know. It's so, I'm trying to get the principles here, right? Is the nebulizer the same as the thing in the street that you see? Can be under the rice and some people no. can get hurt. A nebulizer is a, is a, I gave a marshal. A nebulizer is a choyle shiyaz baskana. The children who suffer from this, you never hear in the news, Nebuch, a child had an attack and didn't, didn't take care of him, the child just uh, passed away. Sure. I mean, that's uh, the asthma or uh, any of these illnesses. So what happens is, so you allowed to put it on, else choyle shiyaz baskana with a shini, period. But you don't have to. Now the question is, should I run out to get a goy? It'd be very nice if you could have a goy. I watch as a Rav for many years. We tell someone to get a goy. You know what? Let's wait another hour. There's no goy. Who am I going to ask? Yeah. I've since then, I knew, I remember the story when I realized where a guy, the medicine was supposed to be administ administered right away, and he couldn't find someone. He was shy, and he didn't take care of it. Since then, I said, you put it on with your shinny, you put the child, a child who's, who's at high temperature, a child needs it, is a, every child who's ill is a choyle shiyash baskana. No time to wait. Well, the mother says a child is special, the mother does say, to any young child is a... Does that apply to taking a kid's temperature as well on a child? For sure. If you have a doubt the child is not well, then you know, you're allowed to take the temperature. The question is, with this new type of temperature, it works with um, digital. digital, that's a sticker problem. But, uh, but if, you, if that's the only temp of time rama you have, you just do it. You try to do it with the shinny. Uh, child, the child to put it on the head. They have these new time um, This concept of two, the, two the Ramadan, does that apply to all halakha? 
the pine many, not all. Later, if we go to the Hilchas Shabbos with Shot, it happens often. It's called the Shvus the Shvus. Well, let us see it now. That means it's with it, our, bo- our meals in the Carmelite. There's only one Rabbana, which is the carrying of the Carmelite. We're saying you don't have to do a second one, right? Uh, no, no, no. You're you're saying you don't have to do Pachas Pachas. Right. But if you do Pachas Pachas, the, the Aved is less. You understand why? Right. So we don't need to minimize the Aved. The, the Isser, okay. you could do the Ketchela, walk the Aladamas, and throw out the nails. That's the Chiddush. But it's not an Isser. I mean, you're not committing an Aved. No. Chazal said, do it. Whenever Chazal said to do something, you do it. Okay. Um, where are we up to? Mekametar kafil had mebikira achas sheshluchish. Why? So the Rav says sheshluchish shem zoyke berabim mukim hezik derabim a gazli al shves tiltel dalam mekamonis. They were not goyze a poch when dalam is serabim or tiltel mikza. Whenever there's a question, oh, you know, this is when the glass breaks at home and uh, mukza there, you're allowed to clean it up. And any, you know, any time there's a safety issue. Your life is more important than the aloha. Now, of course, if it's to obey sadraisa, it's got to be something that's really dangerous. You know, you can't say if the only way to clean it up, you have to do an isadraisa, then you know, and you're going to get hurt. It's not that way. But if it's just the isadrabana, because I'll say rather hurting a rabbin, private person. Let's say you're worried about one person getting hurt. That's not so simple. That we say it's also. Let's say you the glass broke. There's no one home. But you, and you're afraid in the middle of the night, you're going to walk out in the sleep, and you might step on the glass. There's no one home but you. That's, you're not, you're not allowed to pick up the glass. The reason you're allowed to sweep it up, we we'll later learn, because it's called tiltum and atzad. That you're sweeping many to show them how it's okay to sweep muktzah. But let's say if the only way is to pick it up with your hands and touch muktzah, that, Gemara says, is not good. You need a rabbin. So even though I might cut my foot, well, no, 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 you got to, you know, uh, find other ways. In Yiddish, there's a saying, uh, Jews give us a You Jews are very in, innovation, innovative. They'll you know, find a way how to get around it. So the best way, just sweep it up. But I'm explaining this just because of a danger is uh, only a rabbi. Okay. So it's, it's more than you, but not three? Yes, other than it's no head to yeah. Sweeping Bach. it into a dustpan, throwing that out, that's it's, part of sweeping. Uh, that's okay. okay. Uh, later on, that's okay. Hands. hands. Sweeping, the, why do you allow to sweep the floor? That's just the books on the floor. There's, uh, you know, I'm sure the, I have a good mushroom, but when we were growing up, I told you everyone ate peanuts with the shells. We don't, they don't even sell it anymore. You know, and uh, so, what? Crayons. 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 Crayons is mukta, right. You have the children playing with crayons. That's a good marshal. Crayons. You know, you ch- one of your children decided to t- pull out the crayons, and it's yeah, all over the floor. Yeah, it's not mukta. That's also we spoke about it. But let's say you don't have such children, and someone just all the crayons spread out. So you're allowed to sweep it up and just sweep it, put it away. But we spoke about it. crayons is not mukta since you have children who under chenur who play with it. I know people they think it's strange, but that's... It's made for the children. It's not made for you. It's not muksa for you. It's not muksa for you. It's not made for you. Most of the time, it's not made for the adults. So don't worry about the class. If a person has a baby in the house, one baby and an adult, it's not a rabbi, but by class, by a baby, is a If, it, if it's a skana, it's a skana. A baby, a baby, you know, a baby, young children, anything could become dangerous. A child could take it into their mouth, you know, who knows what. Okay, let's move on. Now, this is so not negave, so I want to just go briefly, quickly over it. In the good old days, in Etzisro, a, 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 a day tree, they used to, you know, the little of them. The Chroye Shel Dekel is the, lead, the palm tree of a, 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 a palm, you know, uh, the leaves. And they used to use it to make baskets from it. They used to use it to make chairs out of it. And used to use it for burning, just to have a for fireplace. And so the question is, if you cut it for fire, wood, it's muktzah. It's muktzah. If 
If you didn't, if you decided to change it, if you decided to change it before Shabbos to sit on it, the muktza goes off. Something, the, the rule of the next few sifim is based, based on this. Something that's made to use for two things. So if you cut it for the muktza thing, even though many people use it for s- sitting on it, but you cut it off the tree, you put it into your garage to use it for fuel, then it's muktza. But if you decide Erev of Shabbos, you know what, I'm going to use it for a cheer, then it, the muktzah goes off it because they used to use that for cheers. Can't imagine that, you know. I, I can't imagine sitting on a little of them. I just, you know what I mean? But it's, it doesn't have to be a permanent thought. Because, right, because they, even for one Shabbos, because those days they use it for permanent. So, so even though you decided only this Shabbos to use it, muktzah comes off. It's a thing that's before Shabbos. Before Shabbos, or you sat on it. So a milk crate to put in the door was normally the muktza. It feel like that, but no one uses it. But if if, if I decided to, to use it as a chair, I can. The good old days milk crate, they still exist? They still exist. Wow, I don't see them. I don't do the shopping. But uh, the, the, they used to steal the milk crates when we were young. <laughs> and, uh, but, but anyways, the milk crates... <coughs> Is a keli. It's not a muktza. It's a it's a, it's a box that carries non muktza things. That's why. Then nowadays, it's not muktza. We, we, we get rid of the milk crates. We don't care about the milk crates. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like for example, I was just thinking about the rock because the rock is not. Yeah, but it's a, it, you return it. You people buy people buy soda in a case. You buy from you return the case, whatever it's called, these plastic. You get money for it. They charge you, and you return it. You get money for it. So it's 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 a keli. It's not it's not a. It is a real keli. We're talking about something that's not a keli. This is a keli. The self is a keli. Like in the rock situation, you said you cut. So let's say let's say I had a big stone and I decided, you know what, I want to use this as a chair. Yeah, but no one ever uses a stone and chair. So even you designate it for uh, uh, for well, who knows what, it is. It's only it's going to stay muktza unless we can assume because who uses a stone for for chair? So today, if I found a if I found a palm branch and I decided to designate it as a that, that, uh, it's still, it's still muktza, no one uses palm tree if a palm. In America. Yeah, well, yeah, yes, okay. that's true. But no, it's right here. No one would ever use it. I mean, people fetch if the chair is not good enough. You know, sit See, on a palm. If you live in the jungle and everybody sits on rocks, then the stuff yeah, is right. Also it's, oh, be, in the uh, times of the Shulchan Aruch, the people used to sit on sit on rocks. Sat on the floor, cross legged sat on rocks. I mean, that's when we learn. I, I always tell myself when we learn halacha, I always think we ha- we have no idea how lucky we are. We don't appreciate it. It's really frightening. I always tell myself, I hope I'm never going to look back and say, "Boy, did we have it good." No one, you know, you, you would say, but you, no one chulamed, dreamt. That your life, our lives are going to be so good, so easy, so convenient. Quetching, we quetch, we have our headaches. We all do that. But I'm just saying, you know, like, it, it, it boggles the mind. You know what I mean? It is. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. <clears throat> all right, let's move on. So he says, okay, let's learn. He says, It's made to burn. It's made to burn. It's made to burn. cut off to burn. But also the talti in alam talti shein to risk kelim. How you want to say it? It's made to burn. It's not a keli. It's firewood. Avod nimle chaleim achkar she om demichedni yeshiva. He decided I'll use it to sit at eshit starch lefnoisam. Even he's not going to use it to sitting only for one Shabbos. And afterwards he's going to burn it. It's not muktzah. Why? Harei mechshev di v'tziyum and mechshev ad shoyna imrim lech koyde ma Shabbos. If you had a mind before Shemana Salaim toy the scale, meet the Taltam Shabbos, the Madras Lay Shivalayim, he's not a Taltu sin and then Api Shibishu Shinimal Khalaim Khalishiv Loy Bidai to Fedish Gamba Shabbos, can you shiva zakhol? Even though you only had a mind to sit on the weekdays. You said Friday I'll sit on it. The muktza goes off it. Now I want to tell you something. The Rab has a khumra, which many Achroinim did not realize. You know, there's I don't know who this is, the guy who made on the Mishnah Bruda, he put it all the Ravs. And uh, he's a Lababacha, I don't know. But, uh, but he doesn't, I noticed he left out many. This is one of the things that he left out. The, uh, the Mishtabruda learns that if you have a mind for this, the muktza flew off totally. It's like it became like a cup. So if I have a mind to use these Chroishel Dekel 
to use it to sit. So according to Mishnah, it's not mixed at all. The Rav says only you know, to metaltal to sit. He repeats it a few times. It doesn't, the muktzah doesn't fly off it. Let's say you want to use the chroy shadekel, you want to pick up and whack one of your children with it. It's muktzah. The child could say, Dad, it's muktzah. You can't do it because it's, it's, it's only became non muktzah to sit on it. You are, but if, other than not sitting on it, it is muktzah. That's a potent of this. For this. Yeah, but no, no. But normally, I can't had to allow use it for anything. The here, since it's not, it's just like a weak thing that you designated, and you know you're going to burn it, so it takes off muksi, allowed to use it for that thing. So, so this, this would apply to something else that had a permissible purpose? It's only for that purpose that you can use if it? You, now, if you made it into a keli, a cup, he has the milk crate box, uh, a chair, you're allowed to use a chair for anything you want. It's a keli shemach no. then. But these things, that could be because you're, you're gonna, not it's not really a keli. No, you're you're gonna you use it for five would have to make it into a keli to use it for one purpose only. Yeah, but you, if you use it for ever for one purpose, I took a, 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 the branches and I, how uh, you um, braided it into a chair. Yeah. And I want to use it, then it's a chair, then it's not a book to flow out. But, but you didn't, what do you say? Yeah, but but he's saying, but if you didn't, if you just uh, did that, it's only so allowed to use it to sit. Rabbi, let, let, let's say I use a pen um, to write with, and I also use it to point in my uh, shikonara with my, my pointer. So it's a case we discussed that that is something that that you're allowed to use on shabbos. So based on what we're saying now, does that mean? I can only use it to whatever, no. but I can't. No, like no, 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 that's what I'm saying because a pen is a keli. So you're allowed to use it. It's a kedush machtelis, and if you designate it to point, I that's what I do all day long. I use my pen to point. So it's it's a keli, which is it, you can use for anything. Become something that's a keli you can use. This is not a real keli. You said you want to use it to sit on it, and you know yourself the next week you're going to burn it. But since many people do use it to sit on it, so it's only m- m- not muktzah to ah, sit on so it. The, so the difference is that a pen is a keli. It's a keli that could be used for heter or for iser. And, and it's a keli, period. Keli. It's a keli made the to pump, last. Mom, not made, made to last. Keli. It's like a not keli. Not made to last. Keli. Right. According to the Mishabura says not that way. Mishabura says clearly that once you designate for something, the mixer flew off, period. period. And the Alter Rebbe a few times emphasizes not that way. He says, I'll show you a few times. He says it here, and if you later also says a few times this. <clears throat> okay, he says, When you had a mind, I'll sin on it. Yeah, we don't have practical mashalom over here, but I just want to say because this is this halacha, just for your information, is a whole sugya mesech the Shabbos. It's a two blood sugya. This, you know, it's it's a whole machlikus and there is shoyim out to learn. And it's a hard sugya. So you know, today in practicality, uh, we are so lucky. I have a hard time to uh, put the halacha in. Okay, fill aloy chushav. He says. He didn't think about it. He sat down on it. So it becomes a shem keli on these things, he says. On Shabbos. If he did it before Shabbos, he sat down. Aber Shareitzim, other pieces, other uh, wood, Chenidvach Shalavonim, the stones, Apishu Shalem Pomim Rabbis Bachol, Ganchush Vrein Shi Omdele Shi, Vegam Shibusa, Ad Shi Stark Lefnoisam. He had a mind, for a year I'm going to use it. Le Kaloi, Yudet, Alem, Toriskelem, and the Akach, Shin Darkim, Shareitzim, Lavunim, Yacht, and the If, let's say, he said, I'm going to use it for one year. I told you, I went to Shom Zocher and I noticed a guy had a door stopper for a brick. And he had it for a while. I told him it's Mokhtsin. He said, having it for a while. That brick is not going to last there. Why? You're going you're gonna to nudge your uh, owner. So it's Mokhtsin. Anything that we, uh, nowadays, 
a stone, a raw piece of wood, even they use it for doorstop or anything, you know it's just temporarily. If you're married, you know how long till your wife is going to nudge you to get a change. You know, the question, how much are you going to tolerate the nudge? But it's going to change. That's really what's going to happen. So that's why today there's all alucha, you know, that's why you've, it's muktza. So a stone you designated for doorstop, anything like that, it stays muktza. So the, the problem you have to have sat down on it before shop. Right. But if no. you know, Yes, or, or sat down, or had a mind. Or sat down as if you have no mind. You sat down. So if you sat down on, on Shabbos, it happened to be no, no, Shabbos. you have to do it before Shabbos. That's Muktza. You'll have to sit on Muktza. We're going to assume no. You'll have to sit on a car. You'll have to sit on Muktza. You, you can't move it. So you'll have to, you know, sit on a car. I remember when we were young, children, they always question, are you allowed to, when you want to sit on the car, Shabbos, are you push the, you know, when you get onto the car, you got to use your hands. Is that called moving the car or not? I don't have an answer. Probably, probably allowed to. I'm going to later see why. No, no, not moving. You know, when you get onto a car, you have to put, you know, you, you put your hands on the car and you push yourself. So when you push your hands on the car, the car also moves. Well, you sit down on any you that you bo- yes, You're allowed to because you're not doing it with your hands. Mm-hmm. The reason you're allowed to sit on Muktza, even though for sure you can move it, because Muktza is allowed to be moved, not with your hands. So the question is, but the reason is, it probably it's okay because when you sit on a car, the, 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 when you push yourself, you're only pushing, you're not moving it too much. It's the springs that get pushed down. We learn, learn, we they learn such a concept, but it's not a full tilt, but it's okay. Sit on a car? Well, you, and, and, yeah, it's a typical bacha I mean. Uh, well, you, la- you can't open a car door, the light is going to go on, but, yeah. but if you t- p- take off the light. I went, I, many years ago, I went to Moran, once to Rosh Hashanah, and I noticed the Svardim were living in the cars, Rosh Hashanah. Mm-hmm. They turned the bulbs and they were, you know, they slept in the car. It's perfectly okay. It's a Kedish Nacht to Lisa. So you forget your colors when you're traveling, and you have no light in the uh, you could take it out, exactly. Well, people have asked me, they'll have the, the, the carriage in the trunk, in the car. And the lights are on, she tell the shiksa to take it out. There's no light, you can go. There's no light, you can take it out. No maris ayin? Maris ayin is not a problem if, if the person doesn't know aloha. That's, maris ayin is only people going to say, ah, he was Mahalo Shabbos. He opened the car, you're not open the car. The, the shiksa can take this program out of Yes, because uh, because it's telling a shiksa to get the car thing, even though the light is going to go on, you don't tell her the light. To. That's called the psikresha by shiksa, and it's such a if you're allowed to do it. Yeah, you could tell the shiksa. This is the very common. We forgot to stroll in the car, and uh, so this is the most common question for young people. Can you tell the shiksa? Yes, you could tell the shiksa. Open the door and take out the stroller. If they left the light on, correct. If, if, the apply, if, you or not, if, if they, not they don't know halacha, there's no matter sign. So an area where there's not some Jews? That is an old question I have. Once spoke, a lady tells me that she gave a car in to an, 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 an next to the airport. She works next to the airport. She gave it next to the airport. Someone recognized the car. Her from, uh, he says, I thought you keep Shabbos. I saw your car. <laughs> So I, I don't know. There's no matter. I, I don't think it's about a sign. I don't think so. But now, from person doesn't keep anything. What is what is matter? Matter sign is that we're going to learn. If you're going to do it, then he's going to do it. And uh, from person sees a truma guy being machal Shabbos, he's going to go and eat chaver. If that guy is machal then, then I'm also hooked up. It's, it's going it's to bring him down. Well, a guy who's machal Shabbos he eats chaver anyways. Um, I have a guy who told me he you know he keeps kosher. He says, really? He buys Ralph's beef. He doesn't buy uh, Chaza. <laughs> I told him, Ralph's beef. No, no, no. He's arguing with me. Ralph's beef is kosher, I tell him. Okay. No, really, in, in, in Maris Ayn, we cannot create our own Maris Ayn. Otherwise, you, uh, we're going to be stuck with everything. You know, like, uh, there is certain things in Maris Ayn, but certain things that we can 
It's a famous pichod. Everyone spoke about it. Pichod holds you cannot make our own mala sign, even though others are do, but it has to be a real mala sign, not just. What is mala sign? Mala sign means someone. Is, like the Gemara talks about my jacket shirt got wet. I'm hanging on the line. People are going to say you washed your laundry today. What's amazing, even though it was pouring outside. And it, he knows it was raining. He'll say, "Na na na." He really washed the clothing. <laughs> because humans, it's 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 funny, but we are that way. We if we could judge negative, why just positive? That's how we are. You know, um, I think today the people are better because people have other ways to distract themselves. You come home, you know. See, the, I always I always say this. I uh, I hope the uh, Satman people don't listen to me. I, I, why do they fight the Satman so much? There's no television. So what are you going to do every night? What are you going to do? So a guy has a television. He's going to put on the sports channel, and he's going to uh, sit and glue to the chair, watch this and Bavolan, but at least he's occupied. Come home, can't have a television. So, you know, the guy's not learning. So what is he going to do all night? <laughs> so he has to fight with someone. So, so then I just want to be clear. He's advocating having television. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that no one... I believe no one has a television here. Video Yes. We all have a monitor for that. Okay. Try it with him. It means unfinished wood, right? Raw wood. It has to be really raw. It doesn't have to be raw, raw. No, two by fours. Two by fours. And anything that's. Raw is chayre. Anything that's. Uh, doesn't have to have a. to build what? You pile up wood and benches, you know, which is built with on Yantav. But you built on Yantav, you built it? It's for Yantav. It's true, it's hammered, but there's a way to do it with boards. If you spoke about something, they spoke about what? It doesn't mean it's okay. If they built like Yantav, it's okay. It's a very good enough and the rest is still a bit of a problem. They didn't build the bridge. Okay. But anyways, raw wood, raw wood is going to... But, you know, it, it, what did they do after Yom Tov with the wood? They kept it for the next year. They kept it for the next year. Yeah, so then it's made for that reason. For like, for, so then, then it's made forever. Every year they're going to use that wood. So then then it, that's not Muktza, the wood. Built, the separate issue, building, that's a separate problem. But I'm talking as the Muktza, the wood is made to reuse every year. Then it's not Muktza. You know, like, uh, it's, it's simple. It doesn't make a difference what type the wood is. Uh, raw wood, which, you, which you're going to use all the time, you know, for the same purpose, then it's not moksa. Yeah, that's, that's why it's not moksa. Okay. Uh, where are we up to over here? He says, Come here. El Imkain, he says, Usame mas rav. You have to do something big to it. La hachnis, la chinom, the yeshiva dan yeshi sadr me bayd yoim. You have to be sadr before you shabbos. Kadeshi me chunem, leishev rei le mucha. You got to do something big. Shamas, gudel, kaze, moi loi de lem toy skeli. You have to do something, not just say I'm going to send on it, think about it. You have to reorganize and do, I don't know what they did. I don't know how they sat in, uh, on these ba- branches. But if you made it comfortable to sit, that shows it became a, a, ch- a chair now. Uh, okay. before. Is this a second opinion? What we no, no, no. Before we said, all I have to do is have a mind to sit on it. Right. Something that's not made to sit on. Oh. Not made. The, the bleachers. Let's say you're going to just do it for the Shabbos. Just this yant, after yant, you're going to use it for raw wood and it's going to be firewood. So if you, it's muktza. But if you made something big, let's say you, pre- you prepared it before Shabbos, you even massaged it to put benches on that it, make it very comfortable. Like the rocks. Like I'm talking about the rocks, the same thing. You, you made, but that doesn't because. You know. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying that. But that's like, that's their head. Yeah, no, no, there is no head there because it's, you know, rocks, you can't be miyachal oilam. It's never the same rocks you throw. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but let, let me just talk about, about his motion. <laughs> Using, using, using the planks is something that, let's say, you're only going to use the Shabbos. But you misadder it in a way where you put the, uh, things holding it up and this. 
So then it becomes not moksa. Since he made a master out, he just didn't say, I'll use it for tomorrow. I sat down on the piece of wood. I did something that he describes. He put bench, you know, put the planks underneath, uh, whatever. He made a comfortable thing. That makes it non muksa that you could also only use it to sit on it. Look what he says. Loiter is api shein dark niach alakach elikim shifshiv ele shim shifshim boy yom kdeireisha v'lein lemuchar that is a mass of cold she v'ein moik klim. He's saying it doesn't. It, it has to be something a mass of something more than than just a, a small thing. Small thing is not going to help you. Something big is going to help you. Chose ein lehatan tal to b'shab lesavdan leisha v'leim. Only to sit on it. Again, if you take these boards and you massage it, you're allowed to use it to sit on it. The Rav is explaining that to sit on muktza is never a problem. The biggest muktza, sitting on a car, sitting on a stone, it's not a problem. You know, you go hiking in Shabbos, you're in the mountains, in the Catskill, you want to sit on a rock that's going to move. You're allowed to sit on it. Because we, we pass in, you, metalcal with your body is not cold. You know, one of the, to explain this very simple, muktza, if you do it with the shini, is perfectly okay. So to move muktza with your hand, you, you don't need to, uh, just, it's the chazal never asked it. It's not called making a drabana with the shini. Chazal never asked to remove something with your hand, with the, with the, with the klachriyad, muktza. So sitting is not the normal way to metalcal something. He says, Only That's called the reason that the Rav is emphasizing there is one of the Rishonim who say that sitting is called normal tiltal. And that one of the Rishonim want to learn, you're not allowed to do that. He has a whole different shot. The Rav, the Shachanuch Paskins, the Rav is called the Shachanuch. We Paskin that sitting is not call tiltal. You understand that? Just because when you sit, you for sure you're moving and it's okay. What he said at the beginning, so this is what he repeats again, that even though he, meets, he made something major, like uh, Yankee said, he made the, the planks and made a very very uh, prepared it, you're only allowed to be metal to those yeah. wood to sit on it. If you want to use it to, for any other reason, you cannot do that. It's muktza. Okay. That's, and I'm going to tell you, Nim Gim is the same thing. And I don't think we should be mad so much. I think we should go further because it repeats itself. It's another Gemara, it's another Braisa. The same rules apply. I think we should just go to uh, Nindal. Nindal is very, very important to the Bay side. So, uh, this is a Gemara, and let me explain what he says. Zemoira is a long vine. A vine. Shiesh broisha akmimis kemizlik. You know, a vine has sometimes, at the end, you could, uh, you, you could uh, connect a bucket and let it down to gather water. You know, it has like a mislik. I don't know how you say in English a mislik, you know. A hook. You know, a natural form of a hook, which you could uh, put something there. It's to use it to uh, gather, take water. Why? You're going to break it so, you hear a boy saying, I have a piece of wine. It's not muktza. The reason it's not muktza, people used to use a wine to uh, use it for gather water from the well. But the reason if it's not tied as muktza, it might be too long for you. He might cut it off a piece. So what? What is that cut off? It's called Tikkun Muna and Yebachai the Issa Daraisa. You hear a boy say? If I have a long piece of wine, and if I'm going to just cut it to make it a little shorter, to make it more comfortable, you made a keli and you chayev chatos. Yeah, to, well, toilet paper, since it's made for one use, the mechlek is if it's a Daraisa or the Rabbanon. But, but, but let me tell you what, what, what is this negay? What I uh, tell, opening a soda cap. But it is a tikkun mana. 
uh, Pepsi, what, what is it called? No, 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 no. The bottle cap. So you, what are you doing? You're ripping the top from the bottom, and it becomes a comfortable cap now. This is the same thing. I have a long vine. I can use it. It's too long. I might cut it off. It might just not cut off. It's easy to crack open. <clears throat> Very easy. I'll crack it, and I'm oida isadaraisa. Imagine it says, only this is the rice right about doing this. You, sh- you shouldn't open it on Shabbos. And, and, one second. And what happened? You just created a nice, wonderful cap. What if you don't know? One second, one second. Didn't you open? No, no, it wasn't a usable cap. It was like the long zmoida. It was a, it was a good zmoida. It wasn't so geschmack for me. It's too long. It's too, too, too bulky. I cut it off. I'm chayv chatas. It was, it was a, before it was a thing, but it's very hard. If I rip it off the whole thing, you know, people always tell me, I could take the whole thing off at once. Very nice, but it's not a comfortable cover. By separating the... So what if you have a mind not to reuse that? So if you, a pialocha, if you have a mind to throw it away, then it's not tikimuna. <coughs> but that's a gemara. <coughs> Let me explain quickly. There's a gemara in Masech the Sukkah. The gemara says this way. You know, hadasim, if, you know, the hadasim has balls on it. You know, there's such balls. Um, hadasim could have fruit on it. It's possible if it's black, the fruit. The Gemara says, if I take it off Yontif, I'm over this and I said, take him on The Gemara says, but if I have Dasan that's kosher, I'm allowed to take it off because no take him on. I never have a Dasan. So whenever I don't, if I, plan, if I take off the cover and throw it away, there was no take him on <clears throat> But if I didn't throw it away, I'm going to use it, it's take him on So I tell people, really, even if you plan to throw away, you shouldn't open it. Why? Because, just like over here, we Chazal said, do not use this long thing in case you might cut it, and it, you know, and, um, it might be a problem. So the, so the Sahir too, you might forget yourself and use it for a cap. You understand what I'm saying? So this whole idea of, not, of using the cap, not using the cap, just to understand when it would be okay. If I had in mind that once I open it, I'm gonna throw it out, then it would be okay. So long as I don't put it back onto the right, you do, if bottle. you really throw it away, so I have to throw it away immediately, basically. Right. But if I'm gonna recover that bottle, then it's all, a problem. Huh? Then it's a problem. Then it's awesome. Okay. okay. So even if I plan on throwing it out once the bottle, once no, the that's not good enough. So, right. So, so again, so, so the answer can come with something else. Yeah, it could come. What I do, we have, I, I have prepared a bunch of caps in the yeah. drawer. So usually my children know one of the errands before Shabbos to open the soda bottles, but once in a while they forget. Children are children. So I have other caps. But really, theoretical, I should be machmed even if we throw it away. I wanna, uh, I'll, I'll explain in a middle while. But what was your question? So uh, a can is okay, right? Can is a whole different, it's okay. That's a whole different pasha. That's okay, opening a can of soda. So uh, back to this one, can you, tell, can you ask the guy to do it or no? You can ask the guy. Probably not. The reason why, the and probably yeah. why, I, I'll, I'll be very honest with you guys. The Ahmad Meirer who is next to Saul who screamed that it's okay. I, the Arabanim who claim that it's okay. I don't know why. Whenever you, I ask someone who cl- claims the Hatayim and try to explain to them why is it different than Gemara, I don't okay. get a good explanation. That does, doesn't. Uh, Tikkunah was a Tikkunah doesn't have to be permanently. When it comes to opening up a walnut, you you must suck on a cable. Walnut. Have the walnut. It's not made. It's not made for that. Yeah. People claim that being that this plastic shmata bottle is going to be thrown out. Well, it's going to last for a few days as long as you. Well, it depends. It could. It depends. You know. Could last a few hours, could last a few days, doesn't? But it's going to be a Katie for a few days. You create it; doesn't have to be forever. Right. Once you drink your soda, right, you throw it out. Hanging on to that right, but that that just make a difference. That could take a few days, you know. Of course, of course, Yeah, but that was no. They're not breaking anything. The cork is squeezed into it. I don't know how to do it even. 
But, but this is you ripping something from something and you're creating a good cap. It doesn't say, no one's, that, that's clear. In Tikkun it doesn't have to be a long lasting thing. If a guy takes a toothpick, the guy makes a toothpick and he does his teeth, the Gemara says, he breaks a piece of wood. But the vine was, was created like that as a vine. The cat is Yeah, but now you so made it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's right. You're right. You're 100% right. I have a long wine, right? It's a little uncomfortable to be so long. I would like it five inches shorter. I might just break it off, just make it shorter, and it becomes a keli. What I mean, it was a perfect wine to gather water. It's a little too long for me. I have, I'm, a, I'm a tall guy. I have a long hand. So for me, it's not so comfortable. So just cutting off a piece, it says it's called tikkimana. So the same thing with this. Cutting it off is like tikkun But you don't have anything. You cannot improvise. You don't have anything perfect unless the cap is ripped off. Yeah, once you... Uh, what do you don't have perfect? What are you trying to say? Meaning, there's no, there's no use in the way the cap is... So now that makes it even worse. So that makes it worse. You're saying you're better off <laughs> Yeah, but now you, you're just making it worse. You're not making it better. You just made it a lot. You realize what you just said. You're making it worse. You're saying it's not even a keli at all. To begin with. To begin with. And now you made it into a keli. You can get the cap off without ripping it. Without ripping it so the ring remains. Take the whole thing off. Then and that's the, the case of the wine. You're making it a little easier. No, no, no. The wine yeah. doctor said don't use it because you might rip it. Right. So here it says a big chilish, don't you mind? So why do I say it? There's so many people, you know, I at home try not to do it. Maybe. But there's so many people who say it's okay. So I tell people... You know what? Throw it away, and then you get, uh, have a bottle. Best is is just to open it before Shabbos. I saw in Kabbalah, but then in Kabbalah, the whiskey, and the cutting the bottom of the cap. So basically, it's, you can break it if you want. Throw it, away. throw it away. Yeah, but the reason they broke it, I tell you why, because it says like it's chilah not to do it. You might because you might forget yourself and use it. That's why they did it that way. I'm saying they did it probably they were machmer because the machine. Yeah, that's nothing. That's that's you're not. That's you're, you're not creating it. You're not creating it. You're, 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 you're not. It's just the wax is sealing it. You didn't create. You didn't break anything. Just the wax there. Taking off the cap with a knife or something, some other shinui. If you break it, it's not a cap. Oh, if you oh, poke oh, a oh, hole. How does he break it? If you take a knife at the perforation and you cut the perforation, that's not normal. Yeah, it's still it's, that, it's, it's still. still a problem. Right, plastic wrap, you know. oh, plastic wrap, you're not allowed to. So that, that's Machlaik is Rashi and Rambam, the Rambam, the Rashi, don't say Zachiyiv Chattis. If you cut uh, uh, silver foil, or if you cut toilet paper, it's Machlaik, so the Shainim, it's Issa Dreis, and all. Not the perforation. Not using the tool that comes with the. Right, you're just a young, you, it's, you're not allowed to do that. It's, you're creating a Kaili. Just explain that the Kaili, the Machlaik is. Yeah, some uh, not so clear what the exact machlekes is. The Ramam learns it, the Rabbanon, no one knows exactly why. Rashi learns it, the Rai said, it's a big machlekes, but Pshat and the Ramam is. So that's why I, I uh, don't be so disappointed. Now that's why you came here. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what happens in my home. I, 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 my home happens, I close it tight. And my wife gets annoyed Friday night, she can't open the soda. <laughs> so I say, okay, I closed it, I'll open it for you. But the, 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 the soda's just as good. So the same thing applies to any type of, uh, any food item. You have a salad dressing, you need to crack it open because it's a plastic, uh, it's a plastic top. No, 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 those, those are different. Those, there's, it's a cap and on top of it is a plastic wrapper. Is there drama for any of this something? Anything that... Anything that cracks up is the taka is a machine. That, that's, that's such a good marshal. I know what you're talking about. Some of the dressings, mamish, come like this, like the soda. That could be in the fridge for weeks. The dressings, weeks, is in the fridge. But rather, the cap seems to have created to be a cap. Whether it is a cap or wasn't it? It was, but you're making it better. You're making it better. That doesn't make a difference whether it was created. It's a cap, and you know. Making it better. 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 Making
Right, that's true. Yeah, every, all your argument is true, but that doesn't take it away that it's you're still making a camp, a comfortable but, camp. But certainly you can ask the guy to do it. So who's the one that gives the head? No. Uh, 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 my it's humble opinion, you can't ask the guy to do it. I don't understand the difference between that, asking the guy to open up a refrigerator that has light on it, and practicing. No, no. Right. Opening up a fridge is really only a dubbish and mischam, which is a psikration. Right. But goy, it's not a here. I want him to open it up, and I want to reuse that cap. I want that cap. Normally, you want the cap. If you don't have other caps at home... Let's say I know I'm not going to use the cap again because we have a kid issue. It's going to go... Even then, because the chashash of the body... Then you, yeah, the, so if, then you could tell a goy. So if you're going to throw it away, if that chashash, you could say. The reason I'm not moicha, and I say my children do it, because there's so many moicha who is... There are not so many. There who scream it's mitha. Whenever you argue with anyone who says, I don't get, I don't understand it. I don't, uh, my humble opinion, it's not right. Yeah, I don't know how far, no, 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 no. They, 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 no, no, they, everyone knows it's also. That uh, plastic wrap is, kill all my it's also. Punch of the cap is okay. So the can you not open up. You know, I'll explain next week. We can't explain everything. Why soda can is a whole different passion. What do you want to say? You c- no, they, you can't argue with. You, I always tell people you cannot argue with Talmud Bavli. Talmud Bavli says you rip paper, it's also. It's a Mishnah in the Sechtes Beya. Ripping a, a, a paper is an iser. Rash and the summer shaman, the rice of the ribbonum. The, re, the only hat that they say is do with the shinny toilet paper. You cannot rip toilet paper. That's because a different reason. That because quad abrius. You, you, you know, that, what are you going to do? Not wipe yourself? That's covered abrius. Isn't there a difference if it's on the perforated part or not the perforated part? Yes, there is a difference. It's only kvadabrias, and you're only allowed to do with the shini. What's the shini? Shini means you, you either wipe yourself and, and hold the pe- the till, and flush it, the ribs, or rip it with the back of your hand. So if you're stuck without toilet paper, that's the only way you have to smit it. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. You should do it with the shini. You it's can't rip it. Rip. Better do a shini. Right, but you should better with, with the shini. You are never allowed to rip. Yes, you're never allowed to rip without shini toilet paper, period. It's not so easy to rip it with the shini. No, not with the preparation. Oh, that's difficult. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. People have told me it's sometimes it's very hard to rip now the perforation. But that's a shinny, that's called a breeze. They said it's okay. But to, to get the, to- the toilet paper in, um, where the perforations are, you four shop has like big stacks of them, and you use them if they rip, it's not the. Uh, if you use them uh, the normal way. You prepare them. before shabbos, rip pay, toilet yeah, paper? Yeah, and if they hmm. rip while using them. That's okay. That's okay. I say a different thing that by a divine, you're yeah. ripping it from nothing. Here by the cap, it was already half perforated. So maybe. I have a long vine. It is a useful no, no, thing. But it was not cut where you're going to be cutting. I know. I don't like it so long. That's what the Gemara says. I happen to not like it so long. But, but the act of ripping. Uh, so, I mean, it's, the Gemara says it's a long vine, and I happen not to like it. I might just break it. There's no sir problem. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, we'll stop over here, everyone.